Hey everyone, Alex Kill 28 here, and welcome back to Pikmin. Uh, last time, we crash landed on Earth and the impact site, and we got the engine, thankfully, of which was our first ship part, and we got introduced to Pikmin. And we got 25 of them, which is the max amount of uh, Pikmin you can get on day one. Now we're going to be going to the Forest of Hope, where there are a lot more ship parts than there are on the impact site. You might be thinking, if you haven't played this game before, like, oh, if, if there's one more, why don't you just go back to the impact site and get it right now? You know, this is good for an episode. And I'm like, no, because you actually can't go there yet. Like, you need a specific kind of Pikmin to get the next uh, item, I mean, the next ship part in the impact site. Yeah, spoiler alert, we're going to be getting uh, a couple more kinds of Pikmin. Reds aren't going to be the only ones, but I will say one thing. Reds are the strongest in the game, so they will be the most helpful for fighting, so I'm happy that you got introduced to them first, because uh, for the majority of this day, we'll be, we'll be only having reds, and probably the whole day, but I'm slow. My dolphins return to the surface along with Pikmin's onion. Being alone on the strange planet makes me somewat uneasy, so I shall call the onion, Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is to do stand in the light beneath the onion and press A. Alright, let's do that. Let's take out all 25 of them. All 25 of our Pikmin. Alright, so they're all leaves. I did say last episode there's going to be a way to make them change and make them, you know, better. This grass right here. If they can... If any stuff can come out of it. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, that's freaking great. How about this? How about this? How about this? Come on. Come on, man. I swear. Wow! No... Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. We'll do that later. What we want to do is we want to get this wall down right now you know we want to get there actually is a ship part right there it's like one of the easy ship parts to get so and that that actually we don't actually have enough pikmin to carry that yet so we're gonna need more pikmin to carry that Actually, that, that's that's just retarded that we don't have that we there's nothing in there okay i'll just explain right now there's nectar in that grass and when pikmin drink that nectar they will be flower pikmin and, you know, if they're flower pikmin, that means they move faster. I think they're stronger. And, uh, yeah. I believe they trip, though. Flower flower pikmin trip. Which is not fun. Because it wastes time. I want to get at least two shit parts this episode. And I kind of want to get... Uh, there's another kind of pikmin we can get in this uh, place. The other kind of pikmin we won't be getting until the next area. So, yeah. These things are dwarf. These things are dwarf bulbs, and they are probably the easiest enemy in the game, or one of them. So, by the way, carrying enemies back into the onion will actually give you more Pikmin. So that's really good to know. And throwing throwing Pikmin on top of them will kill them instantly. So my aiming can, can be kind of bad, so I can get them killed. By the way, I want to show, just like I said last episode, that, you know, bringing a pellet to, like, a, like you know, for example, bringing a yellow pellet to the red onion will only give you one pick instead of two. Let's get five right here because, you know, we need all the pick we can get. Um, Alright, so we got 31. And that thing right there is just a regular bull borb. Those things can be a little annoying because it can be a little glitchy when you kill them. And yeah, one. There, we got a first Pikmin death already. Isn't that great? I am playing so well. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Actually, uh, we should examine that ship part. Um. Oh, by the way, I know Alamar will explain this later, but if you get hit, because you have your health bar right there, you will die. I mean, you won't die, but you'll, Alamar will be down for the day. Go in front of your ship and press A, and then 
you can see how much ship parts your, uh, your uh, rocket needs and your health will recover. So that's always nice. Um, we need 40 Pikmin. I, I want at least 50 or 60 red Pikmin on this day because that'll really help. And where am I other two? Oh, what the heck are they doing over there? Get over here. Why are they sitting down? They're just like really tired. It's kind of weird, but um, let's carry back this 10 pellet. And while they're doing that, we can come over here and check this out. Why, it's the Eternal Fuel Dynamo. It has an unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my flight, my, uh, my fight for survival a bit easier. So every time I try to read that out loud, I end up saying flight instead of fight. That bulb orb, we do not want to fight right now because I think we could use a few more Pikmin. Um, but, be, uh, let's see. Up here, too. This is a bulb orb over there, but there's also a ship part behind that bulb orb. Up there. But, um, anyway. I was, I was gonna say, um... There are actually three endings to this game. One is the bad ending, where Alamar doesn't get all 25, just say that again, 25 required ship parts. Get to that later. Um, and if he doesn't, he tries to take off after the 30th day, because, you know, he ran out of time, and then he crashes. And then the Pikmin carry him into the Onion. And then he becomes a Pikmin himself, which is funny, but it's it's sad at the same time because you know he never gets to see his family. We can carry back the ship part now. It's almost noon, so we gotta hurry up. All right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, all right. There we go. It's actually really cool when they uh, carry like that. Oh my god. Hey, Volvor, but these these things are called bomb rocks, by the way. We'll be getting more use with uh, that. We'll be using them a lot more later on because you know red Pikmin cannot use them. By the way, red Pikmin they cannot swim. Almar can, but there's that. What we need a specific type of Pikmin to get ship parts. Like, like there are some ship parts in the water later on, like in some uh, other places. And red Pikmin cannot swim. So they will die in the water unless you whistle them back quick enough, which is, yeah, not good. You do not want to put them in the water, and it's incredibly frustrating when you accidentally do that. It's really, really annoying. But anyway, we got another ship part, the Eternal Fuel Dynamo. Should light things up. More more candles for me. Okay, two out of 30. Two out of 30 ship parts. All right, so I think that we can kill the bull board now, because I think we should. You want, no, we should we should go up here. We can we can get the uh, we can get the ship part up here. Cause I actually want to get it pretty quickly. But the problem is, there's also a bull board before, so no matter what, we're gonna be fighting a bull board this episode. So we're probably gonna be fighting like oh, it's noon. This indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor and, and choose my actions accordingly. It is this one is in my monitor's data. According to the top of my monitor are the sun meter and data display. At the bottom of my spacesuit, damage meter, and Pikmin gauges. On the left, these numbers reflect Pikmin under my command. Pikmin in the fields and total Pikmin, including those in the onions. To adjust my monitor, I can press Z to rotate the camera, left or right in the D pad to zoom, and up in the D pad to change the viewpoint. I can also press plus to view a detailed computer analysis. All right, so let's continue, because, you know, the, as, uh, I, uh, as I said last episode, day one was the only one, it was like a tutorial, so it wasn't, it was the only one that didn't have time. I believe every day lasts about 15 minutes, uh, about 15 minutes, I think it's like 13 or something. But anyway, this is the other shit part, the shock absorber. This apparatus counteracts a shaking swing that normally occurs during flight. It's smooth sailing with this place, usually. Well, great, usually. All right, so we don't want to wake this guy up. We really don't. So let's, let's sneak past. Oh crap! All right. So actually, let's let's get some nectar because uh, actually there are nectar in these rocks as well. That's always good. I swear, if there's no nectar in this. 
There better be next turn. There better be next turn. There's no next turn. There we go. Wow, you guys, this game just hates me for some reason. Um, okay, grass, grass, grass. Come on. Okay, screw you, game. Screw you, screw you so much. Um. Oh, he's trying to carry it back. Okay. We want to... This is a cool method I found for killing bulwarks. You want to just, like, go at his, you know, rear and just do that. And that will kill him really easily. So we can we can carry that back. Only well, 10. And then we need 30 to carry this back. There we go. So now we get more Pikmin and there's one Pikmin level to stop. Alright, so now we can carry back the bull board, and we can carry back the shock absorber. So that always helps, because now we have two ship parts, so we're ahead by uh, one ship part. Because, you know, I always like to be ahead of ship part, like, I, li I like to be ahead of days remaining than a uh, ship part and stuff. Um, yeah. So that's good. Come on, guys. You can do it. All right, so we got 12 more Pikmin. So we got the amount of Pikmin that I wanted for this day. Um, come on. Okay. Uh, they're on the shock absorber is almost in the rocket. So we are it's smooth sailing with this thing, like Olimar said. Um. Walk all these, come on. Help them out a little bit. Get as fast as I can. Come on. There we go. Does this appear on the ship too? No, it doesn't appear on the ship. Okay, well some items don't appear on the ship. Shock absorber. This nifty little device counteracts shaking and swaying experience in typical space flights. There's two more ship parts. And uh, by, by the way, when he says increases the ship's capabilities, he means that we can go to another area. That's further away. Alright, so you can see the environment's kind of getting a little darker. I mean, like the sun. I mean, like the sky. Um, let's kill this bull board. There we go. Alright, so let's break this wall down. Actually, I actually had another recording of this, except my, uh, the screen that, you know, my recording device is really screwing up, which means, like, the, uh, the, the game, like, on my laptop was, like, really, really bad. Like, it kept glitching up and everything. So, then my, and then my voice is changing a lot. Like, it was, like, really, really high. I'm like, okay, I gotta delete this. So, I'm, do, I'm doing a lot better than my field recording. A lot, lot better than my field recording. By the way, right here, if you... Okay, let, actually, we might want to... So, okay. This little bull board, if you don't kill it immediately, it'll scream and wake up uh, the big bull board. Which is never good, because that can mean that Pikmin will die. Oh, what's that? Is that another onion? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 so we want to get the kills guy first, and I can get more to the ending so probably next episode. I can get more to the endings next episode, but uh, right here, look at this. What is this? It's a yellow one, yeah. <laughs> Alan Moore kind of knows what happened with the last onion, so we backed away because oh, a yellow Pikmin. All right, so. Come on, don't be shy. And here we go. We are introduced to yellow Pikmin with really large ears. Color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one is that in some circles, 
would be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what ways may it differ from the red Pikmin? I must be sure to observe them closely. I can hold Pikmin for a moment with A, stop it for another by pressing B. So yeah, uh, if you hold a Pikmin by pressing A, and you press B, you can throw the other kind. And, by the, and since they're lighter, you throw them a lot higher. No, I don't? No, no, no. So getting back to the endings. Uh, the normal ending is when Alomar gets all 25 required ship parts. After the 30th day, he'll, he'll uh, attempt to take off, and he will make it, so you know. So, that's still not as satisfying, because, you know, you didn't get all the, uh, like, you know, all the possessions that he wants and stuff. Because there are some, there are five, un, like, non-required ship parts. that are just stuff that he, like, that I guess he likes. Like, for example, there's, like, a space float. That's not going to the reds. Oh, crap. A clock is indicating the approach of sunset. Pick one waiting beneath the dolphin onions will probably enter the onions on their own. But if I don't call the, str the stragglers and answer my group, my group, they may not be able to get back. I'm sure the Pikmin planted other planted are safe, but I'm somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. Yeah, and um, if you leave Pikmin that are like just, just strays like all over the place, they will die. For example, if I just dismiss them right now and they're not at their base, they're dead. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't want that. Pigmen that are underground will be here the next day. They'll be fine. They'll be here the whole time. And then... But if Pikmin are at your base, then they'll just get the an automatic. But most of the part, they have to be in your group for them to live. See, this this countdown always makes me a little anxious because there's stuff I want to do. Since this counter, we need to hurry up. I'm 69 Pikmin. All right. Oh, okay. 71. Come on. Hurry up. Okay, so we got juicy yellow Pikmin, and we didn't get any flowers for some reason. Alright. Alright, we did it. Maybe asking where the yellow onion is. You may think it, you know, it may have to be in that spot the whole time where we found it, but no, it'll actually end up right next to our ship next time. And Bulwars are like, no, my dinner. Ah. All right. Business impact. It appears that many of my ship parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the parts in my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. And that would improve my chances. Then I only have to press plus to locate my parts. Yeah, there seems to be many hostile lifeforms here. If I'm attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of it, and press A to make suit repairs. As I explore, I must, I must pay attention to the suit's damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. Alright, we, we raised a lot of population. We lost one in battle because of that... Just that one dwarf ball board. And... Let's save. So as... Okay, so... And of course, the perfect ending for this game is when you get all 30 ship parts. After you get that, you don't you don't even have to wait till 30 days are done. You just the just, game just ends, so you can beat this game really fast. This game's kind of short, but I still really really like it. So that's the end of day two. And uh, by the way, if you press plus, you can view Alamar's uh, voyage logs. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we got yellow Pikmin. We got a lot of Pikmin already. So uh, I'll see you guys in day three. See you guys then.